Tens of millions of people all around the world require prosthetic limbs to do what most of us consider to be normal. But what if I told you that, not so far in the future, you might actually want your own robotic prosthetic limbs due to the advancements in the field of artificial intelligence which are starting to get incorporated into these prosthetics. These new kinds of arms, legs or hands will both outperform and even be able to do things which are outright impossible to do with our regular meaty limbs. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you the robotics limbs which are set to revolutionize the industry, in what ways they can even outperform our biological limbs, and finally, whether or not replacing or at the very least, adding onto, our biological limbs are going to be the future of humanity. The loss of a limb means having to adjust to a new reality for the 1 million new amputees worldwide each year. Consider India, one of the world's most populous countries. Only 3% of its buildings are accessible, despite the fact that the country has over 500,000 amputees. Amputees get additional damage as a result of this new adaption process. Experts estimate that amputees fall at a rate around 200 times that of healthy people, and seek medical treatment at a rate equivalent to the institutionalized old. With an aging population, an increase in the prevalence of vascular disorders, and trauma that results in amputations, those figures are projected to rise globally. Some nations, like as the United States, may have their amputee population nearly quadruple by 2050. However, improvements in prosthetics are assisting in improving that reality for amputees, even if the world around them is not necessarily improving. And these changes are occurring at a rapid pace. Who better to go to for a clearer vision of what lies ahead than a prosthesis wearer who develops robotic prostheses? As such, Infinite Biomedical Technologies research manager, who presented his views into the present and future of prostheses at one of the largest science conventions. From brain-controlled prosthesis to AI-powered ones to augmenting healthy people with extra limbs, the future sounds exciting. So buckle up as we delve into the most recent advances and what's ahead in the world of prosthetics. Archaeologists discovered one of the earliest known prosthetic devices in 2011, a wooden toe buried alongside Egyptian mummies about 3,000 years ago. While it had a steampunk appearance, this prosthetic toe was far from a decorative piece. After putting the replicas through rigorous testing, experts discovered that they were, in fact, useful walking aids. While materials have developed over millennia, prosthetics have only recently advanced with the introduction of robotic prostheses. Researchers reported how monkeys were able to operate a mechanized arm using their brain activity in a crucial 2008 study. Controlling the prosthetic arm using electrodes implanted in their minds, they were even able to feed themselves fruits, a first for brain-controlled prostheses. The following years saw advancements that brought us closer to human dexterity, such as the modular prosthetic limb from 2011, and in 2020, patients with mind-controlled arm prostheses were able to feel touch sensations thanks to a novel implant technology. With such improvements, it appeared that the future of this technology was dependent on battery life and robotic advancements. The story has changed to how excellent an artificial intelligence we can create for prostheses. Indeed, AI has the potential to impact the future of this subject. AI will be a part of sophisticated prosthesis in some manner in the future. As technology improves, processing the quantity of data flowing between our head and limbs will necessitate faster and smarter algorithms. The rationale for including AI in robotic prostheses is that the algorithm analyzes nerve impulses from the patient's muscles, allowing the prosthesis to be controlled more accurately. Artificial intelligence has been a cornerstone of all externally powered and motorized upper limb prostheses R&D, but it has been challenging to adapt to lower limb prostheses. A research paper published in Science Translational Medicine in March 2020 by a team from the University of Michigan details a novel approach for incorporating the technology with additional types of prosthesis. Their novel approach, based on regenerative peripheral nerve interface, requires surgeons to wrap a tiny portion of muscle around the end of the severed nerve to create enhanced impulses. Computational scientists on the team then use machine learning techniques to convert the information into tiny motions in a prosthesis. The wonderful part about this procedure is that it can be used on any type of amputation. Participants were even able to operate this smart prosthesis on their first try. 
They were able to perform fine motor skills such as picking up small toy blocks, forming a fist, and squeezing fingers together. RPNI are being extensively researched and have a high promise for allowing for more complicated control capabilities. When AI is combined with the procedure, amputees can regain fine motor control. However, these signals are rather weak and currently necessitate the implantation of intramuscular electromyography sensors. Electromyography is a complex, costly, and relatively new technique that complicates the use of RPNI in reality. Numerous obstacles must be solved before smart prosthetic limbs become ubiquitous. Every day, we get closer to having viable bionic legs, but we're not there yet. Moving from the lab to the real world is a scientific as well as a technical problem. AI and brain connections are critical, but they will fail unless these prosthetic legs are designed to be robust, efficient, and lightweight. We still have a lot of work to do on the latter. For starters, many advances in the realm of prosthetics are demonstrations of concept. The University of Michigan's AI prosthesis is dependent on a cable connection to a computer. So far, everything we've done has been six feet away from a computer cart, with individuals coming in once or twice a week for the trial. They want people to be able to accomplish this with an implanted device so that we can get rid of the cart. Before this notion exits the lab, there is more work to be done. When the smart prosthesis does leave the lab, it will face another setback when it converts to a corporation and seeks permission from authorities such as the FDA. This change is accompanied by a cost issue that may restrict their adoption. The usage of AI substantially raises the cost of a prosthetic device. This applies to insurance structures as well. To increase access to these devices, artificial limb businesses must establish their value proposition. Working with insurance companies to compensate for these sorts of gadgets, which are already highly expensive and have a high rate of abandonment, poses concerns. Insurance companies claim that they have spent this much money on this gadget and that individuals do not wear it, and that they are now being asked to spend even more money on more advanced technology. There's also the science behind it all to consider. Controlling a limb is extremely difficult, and we still have a limited grasp of how our brain does it. The quality and complexity of the data, our lack of knowledge of how feedback mechanisms function in the human neural system, and the uniqueness of individual neurological systems all make training AI algorithms to anticipate human intent extremely challenging. It is not simply an engineering problem, it is also a basic scientific problem. Without a question, developments in robotics, machine learning, and prosthetics hold great promise for amputees. Component costs will fall over time, and these technologies will become standard features of artificial limbs. These advancements we hear about are small steps that will add up to better future artificial limbs, transforming them into genuinely artificially intelligent limbs. We're still a few years away from seeing AI limbs become mainstream, but it's an exciting moment. Given the ability of AI-powered prostheses to be improved on both the hardware and software fronts, they have the potential to be superior to biological limbs. The leading scientist believes that it's unlikely for us to completely replace biological limbs in the near future, as our brain actually supports up to eight limbs, so why get rid of perfectly functional arms or legs when you can simply add additional arms and legs to your body? He also thinks that by the time robotic limbs are matching their biological counterparts, we are likely already able to improve biological limbs with the help of nanobots and exoskeletons. The APL arm is the most unique arm I've ever worn. It has the ability to do anything that your natural hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder can do. Whereas other arms, you know, there's limits. What we've witnessed today really is a game changer. Having the osteointegration implant, it no longer shackles us and be dependent on a socket. The MPL now really is a natural extension of his arm. We no longer have the supportive strap. There are two wireless myobands that um, Johnny wears very comfortably that now records that muscle activity. Not only has it improved Johnny's comfort, the aesthetic quality of the MPL itself, but also our control has been phenomenal. So what is your opinion on the potential future in which robotic limbs are not only going to be used by amputees, but potentially also by completely healthy humans? Is this going to widen the class differences between the people who can afford limbs that outperform our biological ones, and the people that can't? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it.
Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.